Texas loves its football, so you know it's a big deal when a school dumps its team and turns its field into a farm. Now that move by uh, Paul Quinn College is now helping to feed some football fans. Bradley Blackburn explains. On this football field, the season is already in full swing, growing season. Today, the fall crop going into the earth, pumpkins down this row, even a greenhouse full of leafy greens. Just get ready for a really successful fall season. When Paul Quinn College did away with their football team a few years ago, they had a 100-yard blank canvas and decided to fill it with a farm. I'm pulling a few weeds out. One of their partners in this mission is Legends, the catering arm of AT&T Stadium. George Wasai is the quarterback of their catering team, but at one point he played on this field. I do remember kicking a couple of field goals. Going he was this. a football player for Paul Quinn <laughs> decades ago. Back today with the crew from Legends to help plant for the fall. The food that's grown here is served at concession stands and clubs in the stadium. When you attend a football game or you, you come to um, especially event at the stadium, there's a very good chance that the vegetables that you are eating, some of it came from this farm right here. The crops going into the ground here today will be harvested in October, just in time to be served at games at AT&T Stadium. But the food grown in this field has another mission too, to fight food deserts. 15% of food that's grown here goes to help the neighborhood surrounding Paul Quinn's. It's a huge part of what we do knowing that we can grow crops here on this former football field and have it served in front of fans at AT&T Stadium. Full circle from one field to another. In Dallas, Bradley Blackburn, Channel 8 News. PQC proving that uh, food can sometimes be more important than football. Back after this.